Young Turks week number 12 finalist. God, I love this segment. I don't know why I love it so much. I think I love football, that's why. All right, you ready for this? One of the reasons I like it is all the surprises. Uh, surprise that I could not have imagined in a thousand years. Guess who's been doing well the last couple of weeks? Tyler Thigpen. <laughs> what? I say what? <laughs> Tyler Thigpen. Who the hell is that? <laughs> anyway, he's the quarterback, of course, for the Kansas City Chiefs. And look, uh, I'm going to give you one of Jenks' rules uh, in fantasy football. Uh, two weeks, uh, one week doesn't mean a damn thing. Two weeks, I'm paying attention. If he goes three weeks, no matter how surprised I am, I'm snatching his ass up. So think about it. Uh, put him on your radar. Now, the other thing I'm surprised by is Brandon Jacobs still hasn't gotten hurt. What? <laughs> I mean, dude, I had him last year, man. He'd be like, oh, my ankle, oh, my knee, oh, my hair, my teeth, whatever. It was guy was getting hurt around every corner. And that guy's still bruising. And look at those New York Giants running backs, man. They're following Mike Singletary's number one rule. You punch him in the mouth. You know it, girl. <laughs> man, those fearsome threesome. They're coming right down your throat. Brandon Jacobs, Derek Ward, Ahmed Bradshaw. Now the question is, in fantasy football, which ones do you start? First of all, Brandon Jacobs. It's the biggest no-brainer of all time. Start him, start him, start him, start him right away, every game. Uh, Ahmed Bradshaw, calm down. He's a good player. I like him. He does nice things during the game. If I was a coach, I'd love him on my team. But as a fantasy football player, don't get too carried away. Don't start him. Derek Ward's right in the middle. If you want a solid 8, 9 points, 80, 90 yards, he's your man, man. Every week, week in, week out. If he's your fifth guy that you're starting among your running backs and receivers, go to work on that guy. And he might even have more upside. If you're looking for someone who's going to blow you away, he's, I don't think he's the guy. You can't rely on him to do it. But I, it's, he's a solid-ass start. Now, speaking of giant, uh, New York running backs, Thomas Jones. What? what? <laughs> Thomas Jones? Where the hell did he come from? Now, I know he had a couple of good years in Chicago, man. But all of a sudden, in the middle of the season, he's a beast. He's like the number one running back. Now, look, it's too late. Everybody's got him. It's not, you can't trade for him. His value is too high. If he's on your team, you're an idiot if you're not starting him. So I don't have anything more to say about Thomas Joe. So we're moving on. Now, this is the segment where I say, go ahead. Tell me what I told you. Go ahead. You tell me what I told you. I find that to be totally obnoxious. <laughs> anyway, here's here's the uh, thing that's important. D'Angelo Williams. Man, I told you he was going to bust out. I tried to trade for him when he sucked, when he was at the bottom of the barrel. He's getting like negative three points a game. Uh, but I didn't, look, classic mistake, man. I didn't, the guy wouldn't budge, so I should have bid up a little higher. I should have given him a slightly better player. I could have had that guy for free. Now he's blown up. You know, you got, that's what I'm telling you, man. Well, you got to look out for guys who are going to blow up. So in that category, uh, I'd put uh, Chris Chambers. Now, he's been hurt, and then he hasn't done much. He came back and played in that fixed game in Pittsburgh. Did I say that? I, did I? What? <laughs> Six? What are you talking about? Is that what? Man, that's crazy. Six? Come on. Look, man, I'm engaged, so none of that. Think about that. That, that put me in trouble. That put me in trouble, man. I Fixed? Did I say fixed? No, that put me in trouble, man. Now, funny enough, that's Mowaldi Moore, who was caught in the Minnesota boat scandal with sex, now plays with the Pittsburgh Steelers in that 11-10 fishy, fishy game. 13-2 to on the penalties. You saw the calls. I don't have to say a word. All right, now, Chris Chambers, though, he's going to rebound. I'm telling you. Go, go trade for him. If, somebody's, uh, if your league is uh, you know, small enough that somebody's dropped him, go ahead and pick him up. Phillip Rivers, I think, is also going to rebound. Uh, and so uh, that's another guy I'd look to go get if you if you can. Now, what did I tell you last week? I mean, this is the call of the week. Peyton Hills of the Denver Broncos. You remember I told you to pick him up? He blew up, man. He was like a jihadist. Came in there, boom, two touchdowns. Okay, got a lot of points, so stay with him if you got him. Now, go ahead what you told me, right? Go ahead. Go ahead. You tell me what you told me. <laughs> okay. The ones I got wrong. Uh, I said dump hoosh. Uh, dump all the Bengals, uh, and I said keep all the Cowboys. Now, I was right about Marion Barber. He's still hanging in there. He had a couple off games and stuff. But T.O. has stunk, man. Now, I was right about all the other Bengals. Ocho Cinco, please. More like Cero Cero. 
He had one good week, sucked every other week. <laughs> okay, but Hoosh, Hoosh is back, and he's delivering. So I was a little off on that. Hey, you can't get them all right. And finally, this is the random uh, story of the week. The most maddening tight end in the NFL, and if you have him, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Anthony Fasano. Man, that guy had come out and scored two touchdowns. Next week, zero, none. Not a single can't catch. It. Can't do it. Can't do it. Okay? You know what? You can't put him on your fantasy football team. You can't put him on your real team. Can't do it. Can't do it. Look, don't take the chance, man. He might do well for you, but he can give you a big flat donut, and that can't, that'll hurt you. So it can't do it. All right? So that's week number 12, Young Turks Fanalist.